Yep, we're back. Got to finish the branches. And then I got to take all the firewood down. So, that's how it is. I'm going to get busy. Talk to you in a few. Alright, so, hey, I'm throwing my safety glasses down. Yes, I wear glasses when I'm doing wood. I don't need a piece of sawdust at however many miles an hour hitting in my face. Alright, so the first half of this stack up to right there, that log, makes sense was yesterday's stack. Everything else down is today's stack so far. Um, I've still got some, some logs in here, like that one. You know, there's another one up there. There's, there's several up here that I've not moved over to the stack yet. Um, but I think I'm done with this tree. Hey, let's not fall on the downhill slope. I'm gonna have a standing rock here. Let's me stand flat. Yes! So, um, you start to get to pieces that my saw can cut. I can do two cuts, left side, right side, to get it done. Um, but I need to be able to split it. I'm not into splitting right now. Um, and that one, you can see the holes in it, is full of termites. Um, why it's still burnable, you know, and would split really easy because the center is hollow. I don't want to move the termites back to the house. Um, there's another piece down there. I was trying to see how far back they go, and the farther you go, the bigger the holes get. There's a, another piece. That one is, but the leaves are in the way. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The farther back you get in the log, the, uh, the deeper, the hollower it gets. So... I'm not worried about it. So that means that for this tree, I'm done. I'm done as much as I can do comfortably on a hill slope by myself without, you know, hurting myself. So I'm going to finish getting my pieces of log and get them in the stack. Um, and then start looking at huh, all the fun stuff. I got to get all the tools down the hill um, and then off the hill. So they're not in the way of me moving wood because I've got the two stacks there. I've got the stack there and I've got the stack that's over in the sun um, to get down the hill and then get it to the, um, get it to the woodshed. Um, and then from there, that for the most part, that means I'm done up here. Um, and the next time I do wood will be the, uh, the one that's going to be easier to get to on the other side of the hill. You know, the other 60 foot one. I didn't realize this one was down. I just knew that that piece was down. So, you know, chose this one second because I was like, I'd be easy. You know, get the stuff over there and it'd be done. I was like, oh, I got a lot more than I thought. And sure, kind of easy, kind of not. It'd be awesome to get that. But I, uh, again, I'm out of my comfort zone with that. Um, I've, not, I've not found a branch that I believe is strong enough that I could use come-along straps and pull it down the hill without hurting myself. I, it's just, yeah, it can stay there. You know, I can get what I can get, and then I can just go buy some firewood for this year. It's just how that one goes. So, let me start moving wood. Talk to you in a few. So, you know, when I throw it all down the hill... It just never seems like as much as when I have it piled up there up top. It's a large pile. I could lay down. You know, maybe go end to end. Whew. All right, I'm thinking two and a half, maybe three cartloads. I'll let you know when I'm done. But it's all down here now. Touch in a few. Isn't that pretty? Second row. Almost full. So now, you know, when you buy a rick, I'm here in Arkansas, it's eight foot by four foot. So the fact that it's touching the top of the T-post there, that's four foot high on that side. Now it's only about three foot high on that side, but that's eight feet. This is nine and a half feet wide. So there's two and a half rick worth of wood in there easy, easily. Maybe three counting this front stuff. Um, Again, the goal doesn't matter is to get both buildings full. So, um, when I start the next tree, um, I should be able to finish that second row and get that third row at least halfway. So that means I'm still buying at least four to fit over there. You know, to have more than enough wood. It's the goal. 
So that way, you know, next year, or every year after that, I just replace what I've used, you know? So this year, this past winter, um, I had four stands, and I only used, I used two and a half of them. I had a stand and a half left. So, you know, depending upon how the trees are down, and once I get a wood splitter, because when I get a wood splitter, the stuff that's too big for me right now will also end up in there. So I will end up buying less and less wood. And that's the goal. I always have them plenty. And then when I'm old and decrepit and I can't split or cut nothing, I just buy it and have somebody else stack it. You know. Anyway, I'm done. Just looks awesome. And I will talk to you later.